Alrighty, what is up everybody? In the never-ending hunt for the next 10 to 100x project, today we're going to be talking about Meta Vaders. And we're going to be talking more specifically as to why I think this has some really good potential. Now, as always, I have to preface this by saying none of this is financial advice. You should never enter or exit any positions, whether that be a stock, a crypto, an NFT, or any investment based on what you see from random social media people like myself but if you find this video helpful you can invest in that subscribe and thumbs up button as we are never ending free content coming at you always so metavators right off the bat it is the number one featured project on rarity tools for the month of october 2021 now what metavators is is you can see the pictures right down here of some of the generative art that they have they are pixel monster human alien mashup type deal and they have a pretty uh, interesting deal going on here so we're going to cover that so the Metavators are, and we'll read the story here, the last remaining survivors from the multi-planetary species, Earth, before it came uninhabitable from nuclear warfare and food supply exhaustion. Metavators wandered endlessly in the galaxy before a chance encounter with the Legion, a highly technologically advanced species who offered the Metavators to join their cause, to be uploaded into the Metaverse and conquer all the worlds that exist within it. For their continued sustainability, the Metavators invade and capture inhabitants of foreign worlds in exchange for resources. So there's a couple things in that story that I caught on to really quickly, and that is one, they use the term Metaverse. Now, Metaverse generally uh, refers to that of a game. So there is going to be a game, or at least what is really sounding or hinting towards that of a game being built around these NFTs. Now, the number one thing we look for when investing in any NFT is utility. Utility is absolutely massive, as this will be what really determines a successful project launch and continued sustained project growth throughout. So you do not have an NFT that simply launches skyrockets on price based on hype, and then due to lack of utility or usability, it simply plummets and the floor price goes next to nothing and many people lose their investment. So looking at utility, having an NFT that builds a game around it and has a roadmap that shows that that game will have continued utility, playability, and, and function throughout the life of the project is very, very promising. So the other thing is uh, uh, invade and capture inhabitants of foreign worlds. Now I believe this is another hint towards the game that they are coming out with, and we're going to show you why in just a second as we read through their roadmap. So if you scroll down on the page here, and it is metavators.io, you can see this little uh, teaser right here. They have their eyes set on the first invasion target. So they are already building this up to show you kind of what this game is going to be like. And it seems to be as it's going to, I don't know if battle royale is the correct word, or uh, open world MMORPG, or even something as simple as Crypto Blades. And if you haven't played Crypto Blades, definitely check that out. The profitability on Crypto Blades is so so, but it may give you a good idea as to what we're looking at with Metavaders. So the collection is diverse with a mix of humanoids, alien race species, and the Legion. In addition to a variety of special traits, Metavaders will be able to interact with collections from other projects with surprising outcomes. Now, these other projects, the first one, it could be targets. It says the Anna Metaverse or Anime Metaverse, I can only assume. So there's going to be a variety of collections that are going to be coming out or have already come out that are going to interact with Metavaders in these uh, battles or invasions that they're speaking of. So really quick on the need to know what is the total supply that is very important as there are some projects like the Neon District that has over 1.5 million NFT 
NFTs in their collection on OpenSea, a total supply of 10,101 unique metavaders will be created at a mint cost of 0.07 ETH plus gas. Now, we're going to scroll down here, and so they do have some benefits to early Metavader uh, adapters. Now, like most projects, offer these benefits to people that are either early adopters, early minters, or people that get on their whitelist, or even sometimes uh, the first group of people that join their Discord community. And they do actually have quite a growing Discord. We'll cover that as well. So exclusive access to all future drops. Now these future drops may actually be uh, unique NFTs from future collections that will be able to interact with these metavaders. So that is very interesting. Uh, participation in giveaways and lucky draws. Chance to join closed beta testing. Again, hinting that there will be a game coming out. And sneak peek to exclusive features such as our metavaders game and Vader Vault. So the Vader Vault is something that maybe houses these resources that you'll be collecting and fighting for in these invasions. So having access to that Vader Vault could be uh, comparable to owning land in some of these other games like uh, Ember Sword, for example. Uh, and much more as we continue to conquer the metaverse. And you can see it is all in this kind of pixel graphics, which is super unique in the metaverse NFT gaming uh, community. You don't see many of these type of graphics. So let's look at their roadmap. So upon 25% minted or about 2,600 minted, they will submit to Rarity Tools and Rarity Sniper listings. Now this is extremely exciting as most projects, well I don't know if most, but a lot of these projects that launch, they do not submit to these Rarity Tools or Rarity Sniper Discord until 100% mint. We saw this with uh, the Bastard Penguins that just came out. They came out, they launched, their floor went sky high, and they had no Rarity Sniper, no Rarity Tools listing, and as as their floor price plummeted, then they went and listed on Rarity Sniper and all these others. So having this done at 25% mint is extremely exciting. Uh, some of the Metavaders NFTs will be minted and airdropped to our earliest adopters, so that is something else to look out for. A further ramp up of social media and influencer engagement as well as exclusive privileges given to early key community contributors. Extremely exciting. And on that note, I should say with influencer engagement, I myself am not sponsored or paid in any way to make this video. It's just something that I saw and I figured I would bring it to you guys, uh, my awesome community that we're building here. So at a 50% mint or roughly 5,000 uh, 50 Metavaders minted. They will launch the Metavader DAP showcasing the activation feature and this may be the thing that gets you into these invasions. A free giveaway of Animeta's NFTs to some Metavaders owners to showcase our activation feature and a giveaway of customized one of one Metavader Twitter banners which is something that I've never seen in a project. If you have ever seen any of these interactive or anything Twitter banners being given away from an NFT project comment below I would love to know as, as that is something I think is, is truly unique so at 75% minted or 7,500 Metavaders community grant fund of $30,000 uh, or essentially 9 ETH uh, or 8.5 ETH as of uh, October 3rd to find talented people to supercharge our ecosystem and generate more artwork content storyline and etc design for the next community airdrop will begin and discussion within the community for plans on the next invasion at 100 percent mint or 10,101 metavaders minted they will begin work on the vader vault a groundbreaking concept of nft pool where metavader holders can participate in fractional nft ownership based upon their contribution and we've seen this fractional nft ownership uh, come out in the last few months and actually really take off kind of starting with uh, pudgy penguins and i believe crypto punks as well um, we saw people starting to buy one one hundredth one one hundredth or one one thousandth of an nft so interesting concept that they seem to be adopting as well uh, at also at 100% Mint, development of a Space Invader themed minigame 
where you'll be able to use your actual Metavader for the game. So not only are they going to have a full game, they're also going to have this themed mini game as well, which kind of makes me think of what the Board Ape Yacht Club did uh, with their little mini game there. Uh, Cross-chain development as we look to expand our reach beyond the ETH metaverse. Now that is very exciting. If you think of cross-console play, uh, where people were able to play, say, Call of Duty, for example. If I'm on PC, which I am, I can then play with my friends on Xbox and PlayStation as well. And that supercharged the gaming community. So seeing a cross-chain development come to an NFT project is extremely, extremely unique. So we'll look at the team here, and I would like to see a fully docked team. As you can see, it's a team of four right now. Uh, one thing I do not see in the team, and this is something that I find interesting, is someone that is, you know, coding, a lead engineer for their game development. Now, that could be this PX GNOME, but the smart contract development, or the Solidity coding and ERC721 implementation, is just going to be what generates and deploys these NFTs onto, say, OpenSea, or a minting dApp like this front end here that we'll be able to mint from the website. So I don't know if that is something that is going to be coming, but by the sounds of it, they already have this first invasion and this first uh, game rollout already planned for beta testing. So that is very interesting. Now, real quick, we are going to go to the frequently asked questions just to cover a couple things here. So Metavaders are actually launching. Now it doesn't say on their Discord, but on Rarity Tools, it actually says that these are going to be launching on October 4th, 2021, 10 a.m. Denver or Mountain Time. So that is super interesting there. So October 4th will be the launch date for Metavaders, and it does not look like they have a pre-sale. So as we already covered, the mint cost will be 0.07. Now, one thing that I want to look at is this Vader Vault. So the Vader Vault is where the captured NFTs will be stored. So again, captured NFTs, this kind of makes me think like the Snook game. If you die, it's gone. And Crypto Raiders characters, Crypto Raiders with their mob pass, their raids and dungeons, also interest, or also um, introduced this idea that if your character dies, it is gone. In this case, if your character dies, it could be potentially captured for other players to come and claim. So Metavaders that have participated in growing the vault will get the honor of getting fractional ownership of all NFTs within it. And that could be a good form of passive income for this game. Uh, this means they will be allowed to vote on the fate of captured NFTs as well as possibly be granted other special privileges. Now, we saw a hinting at this word activation in the previous page. Activating Metavaders will provide it with a new activated look as well as provide it with additional non-visible traits such as battle power that will be used in the future. This can be reversed or deactivated. So it looks like you'll be able to transform your Metavader as well. It says, however, this is still in development and will launch after the drop. So real quick, we have a team that has a bunch of unique concepts such as introducing fractional NFTs in the form of these captured Metavaders, a game implementation with different waves that will continue this utility, a fairly low mint price, and the last thing I want to look at is their Discord here, which we can pull up and see that there's currently 2,000 people online at any given moment with almost 13,000 members. Now, people say, yeah, 13,000 members, some of those may be bots, but I have looked into this community. They are all seeming to be very active, and it seems like over the days, now this was much higher a couple days ago, it does look like they are doing bot sweeps or bot cleanouts of their Discord. So not only is the community highly engaged, the team seems to be highly engaged as well in the development, the marketing, and the community as well. So all of these different things along with the amazing utility makes me think that this could potentially be the next 10x NFT project. It is launching within 24 hours, which is super exciting. But as always, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own due diligence. Always do your own research before buying into any of these projects. 
And on a side note for all you guys that stayed this late in the video, I should be doing another live show tonight. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the thumbs up, and we will catch you later.